the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement On the morning of weigh-ins, fighters face unique challenges following a strenuous night of making weight. Rehydrating properly is crucial, perhaps the most vital step they take towards the fight. Improper rehydration can lead to significant complications. This is the only sport I think it takes you your three months of camp, physical, the, 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 the trauma it puts your body through. And then it's like God says, okay, that's cool, but what makes you different from another athlete? Show me. And then he takes your heart, he takes your soul during the weight cut. And then after that, you get that chance to go into the cage and show the world what MMA is and what an MMA fighter is. And that shit makes me emotional. You know what I mean? 6.9. Witnessing a fight promotion owner actively engaged in the finer details of fight week, such as weigh-ins, is truly commendable, particularly when considering the rigorous efforts fighters undergo to reach the fight. 66.1. Oh! Hard part is done. Oh, I love, I love it. It's so good, this water. I love MFN. <laughs> yeah. I hope my weight, my weight is right. Oh. Look. Okay. Look forward. Look forward. Okay. Do you need a towel? Yeah, 
Seventy-four point eight five. Jason makes weight. Thanks, <laughs> Good morning. Hello. What's up? What's up? Oh, <laughs> shirt off. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. What's up, mom? I love you. We good? Thank you. Did you Sorry. cut anyway? Huh? No, I don't cut anyway. No, I don't like to. I hate it. I hate it. I did it twice in my life, and I'll never do it again. Even if they paid me to do it, I wouldn't do it. How are you doing, Auntie? Good to see you. Thank you so much. You. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. These guys here are the reason why we have MMA in India still. So thank you. Ditto. <laughs> These guys oh, are you. the reason we're doing that's, this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Auntie. I want MFN to be the safe place for every fighter in this country. Like my children know that home is their safe place. MFN is the safe place for every Indian fighter. Whether you stay here and fight or you go back overseas, you, you kill it there, but this is always your home. And I want every fighter, Indian fighter, to remember that. So Sanjeet beat Sham uh, at his debut. Since then, Sham's not lost a single fight, and every fight that he won, he calls Sanjeet out. And now, finally, they're fighting. So, for me, this is a very personal one. I love both guys, you know, and uh, I know both their stories. So, this is this is another tough part about being, uh, you know, a promoter, because you're not supposed to have favorites, but you do. I mean, we're just humans, right? So. It's, it's amazing. MFN's 13th event not only showcases top athletes from the subcontinent, but also international talents like veteran referee Herb D, who will be making his promotion debut at MFN 13. Pleasure to meet you. Your name is amazing. I love it. Herb D. It's yeah. so cool. I've watched a lot of your fights. They were my favorite referees. Ah, thank you. I'm so happy you're here, man. Thank ah, you. thank you. Thank, thank you, brother. Yeah, nice welcome to meet you. Welcome to India. Welcome yeah, to India. Oh my God, I was just saying that, that this guy, look. He's got such, he's so lucky. He's got his whole country behind him from Afghanistan. They don't, they're not even from here, they're, it's another country. And he's got more people here than any other fighter. That's amazing, that's love, that's respect. Afghanistan, you guys are fucking amazing. And so is the Afghani lion, so is the lion. We are at the MFN 13 press conference. Uh, this is honestly, you know, the most exciting time, I believe, for everybody, including the fighters, because this is the first time everyone goes face-to-face. -face. Uh, you know, they get to look the opponent in the eye and kind of gauge their mindset, I guess. They, you know, um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's, it's exciting, but also a little bit nerve-wracking, especially for me. I mean, sitting up here looking all confident, but I hate speaking in <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. Aisha, ma'am, this... Putting this together, the stress the day before, the stress the hour before, it's all come together once again. Uh, your thoughts right now, you know, everything is perfect, but just being in this room with all these voices that are there and the energy that's there, how are you feeling? Feeling absolutely on top of the world. Uh, zero stress, to be honest, it's just pure passion. And when there's passion, there's no stress. I like that answer, I love it. But you know what? What has happened in the last couple of weeks has been quite historic. You know, you've been saying this, MFN was always a fighter first promotion. Well, two of your people, we've got Pooja right here, and Anshul of course, went in from MFN and managed to take it up there into the UFC, which is what they wanted. So a big round of applause to them. Let's talk about the biggest organization in the world, the UFC. You know, I said I followed them for close to 20 years now, but I've honestly only been to one of their shows. Uh, it's mainly been just behind the scenes research and a whole lot of watching, following, you know, their journey from day one to where they are 30 years later. Um, their scope of production, you know, uh, how they run Fight Week through Embedded, uh, through Anatomy of a Fighter, of course. Um, you know, just a lot of viewing and researching on our own. Uh, and understanding the level that's out there, you know. 
And we definitely haven't settled for less. I believe, you know, the more Matrix Fight Night is exposed to the rest of the world, the more that they'll see we're exactly on that level, especially when it comes to our production. Um, my family, of course, we come from a film family. So, you know, it's our forte. Nobody does it better than we do, and, and we bring it every time. In the final hours leading up to MFN 13, these fighters are granted the unique opportunity to face off. A moment where silent communication speaks volumes. Only they can decipher the subtle messages hidden in the gaze of their opponent. People think he's a knockout art artist and then people think I'm a knockout artist. Tomorrow people are going to find out who is actually a knockout artist. 